All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Ruchah, Kodash. want to give double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings unto the hopefully elect. And uh, it's the brother Yagadal Lamar from GMS Houston, and with me I got the brother uh, Shalom, Yaina. All right, and uh, we just had a very short lesson. We wanted to go in through the spirit, man, just dealing with the fact that um, due to the curses, we were scattered amongst the four corners of the earth uh, throughout different captivities. And the scriptures tell you, which we're going to go into in a second, that we will remember in the land of our captivities, man. Mm -hmm. All right, and that shows um, a great, that that's really uh, something key to go into when dealing with the subject of the Gentiles, man, to establish that this is the way the Most High set it up for us to through, through the different captivities and due to us going against the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, we was going to go into these different captivities, but in those lands, wherever we were, we were going to wake up to the fact that we were Israel, man, all right, which was that great awakening, okay? So, uh, Lord willing, this lesson be edifying. And uh, with that, uh, I'm going to grab this first scripture. Can I, if I, if I may, can. Can, I just want to uh, say as well, you know, adding on to the brother, that in these captivities, we also were taken from our understanding as to who we That's were. Sure. That's a great part in coming back to this knowledge. Now we're coming back not just to our heritage, but to our power, you know, and all those things that come with it, man. And that's why through the Spirit, we're waking up. And, and being able to uh, identify who our enemies are, man. Kind. Man, there's two scriptures came to mind. Matter of fact, let me grab the first one just before we get that, since okay, you brought yeah. that point up. Well, the first one uh, was, um, the, the um, scripture that follow, it should be a falling away first. All right? Huh. But just want to grab this scripture just real quick because one of the main... Uh, the main time that we lost our identity was when uh, uh, Esau brought the Negroes over here in cargo slave mm -hmm. ships, man. Okay? Right. But this is uh, Micah chapter 2 and 1. It says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Right. And they and we know this is talking about Esau Edom, man, but it's mainly just talking about the elites, the ones who actually have the power to put forth uh, uh, decrees in the earth and they actually go go forth and execute it 100 percent man and it's only done by the will of the most high for his intent man okay but um it's verse two it says and they covered fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away so they oppress a man and his house even a man in his heritage and our heritage has been oppressed by this devil man all right and that's why he's so gung-ho on trying to shut down the internet but it's too late the word has went out throughout the four corners of the earth man and jake is waking up man you have brothers that have woken up all the way in the land of japan man right. all right and you have brothers now you seeing brothers all over the world man i'm we don't have to go through the list man it's already it's, it's already been done and said man all the brothers that have woken up man in the land of their captivities man right. all right but go ahead brother come this is in deuteronomy 28 verse 64 and Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither hmm. thou nor thine father have known, even wood and stone. Yep, so that's that was one of the major curses that we went uh we had to undergo, man. Right. All right, because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, man. We broke the agreement that we made, so he scattered us throughout the uh, four corners of the earth. So what was going to happen in the midst of that? You go amongst these heathens, Jake latching on to their traditions, latching on to their so-called religions, their ways of life, worshiping their gods, getting deep into these idols, man. All right? And then the scripture said it spoke on, uh, we at the end of it talk about wood and stone. Come. And ye shall be, uh, so like you, I was reading up top, which neither thou nor thine fathers have known even wood and stone. Yeah, man. And when you go in these harlot houses, that's what you're doing, man. You're in there worshiping wood and stone, man. Different idols, all different type of things, man. Okay. okay? And Esau has allowed that to happen because he has power to do that. He has power to put power in things that don't have power. Hmm. There's mm -hmm. some more on that? No, that was Yeah, it. we'll get to that, Baruch. Con, this is a Baruch. And that power was given... Uh, to Esau by Yahweh, man. Okay. It's because Esau's weak. He 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 he's not in control of nothing. Yeah. That's all by the will of the Most High, man. 
That's it, man. That's why, uh, matter of fact, so she said that. And we, <laughs> hey, that's how the spirit worked, man, because we was like, man, we're just going to bring out these three, uh, <laughs> three <Right>. scriptures. <laughs> But hey, the spirit do what it do, man, and uh, we love it. That's right. Uh, so like, give me one quick second. That's 21. Bear with me, bear with me. All right, this uh, Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in, we know the heart is talking about the mind. Mm -hmm. All right, it says, The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers of water he turneth whithersoever he goeth, man. So the Most High is always in control. He's mm -hmm. dictating Esau's thoughts, man. All right, he has he Satan is, is an employee of the Most High. Right. All right, and Esau's an employee of of, of Satan, man. So right. you know how you be on a job site and you got the uh, the head head uh, 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 I'll say who's over the foreman. Uh, uh. I say like a project manager or some uh, something like some that. type of the major league, but then he got, had his foreman under him uh, uh, or whatnot, and he telling the foreman, okay, we are gonna hey just watch this guy right here, just like a supervisor. Him, yeah, 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 yeah. His supervisor telling the foreman, hey man, yeah, I know he under you right now, but just watch him right now. I know his ass is up to some shit. We gonna let him get away with it for a while until uh -huh. we don't need his ass no more. Right. <laughs> That's the what the both sides doing. You just a little tool that he's using to show his power, man. Right. Alright? A little tool, the basis tool. We'll go uh -huh. ahead. Uh -huh. This is in uh uh the book of Baruch two verse thirty. For I know for I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. And our people, you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, that's clearly who this is talking about. A stiff necked, right. hard headed, rebellious people, man. All right, every other, all these other nations are trying to latch on to being Israel, but you niggas don't want to be Israel, man. Right. All right, you don't want to adhere to a righteous way of life. All right, you don't want to hear, be, uh, be corrected, man. Go ahead. Right. Uh, uh, Israel is so stiff necked that the Most High had to put Israel in these different captivities, man. Okay. You would think that eventually the Most High putting you in one, you know, messing you up one time will be enough, but it wasn't, man. That's why we're in captivity now, because Jake is just a stiff-necked people. Yeah. But in the land of thine, of their captivity, they shall remember themselves, right? Yep. How is that? What does that mean? Remember themselves. Remember who you are, that we are the chosen seed, man. We are the nation of Israel, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. And that's what you're seeing. That's that great awakening happening, man. Jake is like, damn, okay. I'm, I'm an Israelite, man. Right. And you're seeing this. It's crazy, man. It's, I'm, man, females I grew up with, Damn. wicked niggas from the world that I uh, knew, and shit, they may not be getting fully into the doctrine and right. going out and doing the work, but they talking about Israel now, man. Right. All yeah. right, go ahead. Because if I may. Yeah. Because really, only the elect is going to grasp the true understanding of, of why they're going through what they're going through. Mm -hmm. You know, Jake and the world, they get they might get some knowledge, but they ain't going to really receive understanding on it, man. Okay. Because it's really not meant for them. Okay, this is verse 31. And shall know that I am Yahweh, their power. You see, and only the elect is going to know that. That's why they're going to come to the Most High. And they're going to repent, you know, and they're going to fully come into this, man. Yeah, in, in its true sense. Because right. what Christianity teaches, that's not, they they not repenting, man. Right. All right, because it means to return sorrowful, man. Right. Right. All right, so we're the only ones that really will. You feel like shit, man. Yeah. When you find out, man, you especially when you start getting into all the laws, man, and you start shit. seeing how much you was offending and going against the Heavenly Father, man, you feel like shit, man. Right. Knowing that you was worshiping a, a false god, where, knowing that you believed in Jesus, all different yeah. type of things, you feel like shit, man. Hell yeah. And then that repenting is constantly, man. That's a good, good thing you brought that up, man, because the elect, is, it's a constant cycle of repenting, man. Uh -huh. All right? You can repent daily, man. Right. All right, but the main thing is repenting for 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 uh for following other gods, man. All right, and not worshiping the heavenly Father and following His righteous, perfect law, man. All right, but go ahead. Come on, I'm gonna start from the top. And shall know that I am Yahweh their power, for I will give them in heart and ears to hear. Mm -hmm. Right. And I mean a heart, meaning a mind, man. Mm -hmm. Giving them the understanding which was given through Yahweh Shai. By opening up our minds and putting the Rokakodash, the Holy Spirit, upon us to understand this, man. All right. 
verse 32, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. And that's what you're seeing. Brothers is everywhere praising Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, throughout the four corners of the earth, and it's putting fear in Esau's ass, man. Come. And think upon my name. And think upon <laughs> the name, man. So we have to have the name, man. Okay. All right? All that BS about it don't matter. You can call him anything. Well, you call him anything right. and see what see see what he going to call you. He's going to call you missile okay. food. Right, right, right. Okay. And return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers. Yep, and that's what we have done, man. All right? right. And I'm I'm going to even include... Uh, other men in these other camps, man, that are sincere, they just don't have the full truth right now. And it, it, if it be the Lord's will, man, they come out of that into the proper understanding, man, 100% understanding, okay. man, to remember the, our Father's ways, man, to come out of that stiff neck because they done it, man. The, it's them other camps. They're out on the highways and byways right. teaching Israel, man. Mm -hmm. All right? They're keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, man. We have certain differences in the doctrine, that, that that's crucial to our salvation, but they've wake, woken up from their stiff neck ways, man. Right. All right, go ahead. Come. Which sin before Yahweh, mm -hmm. and I will bring them again into the land which I pr promised with an oath unto their fathers. Yep, it's a, and wills of prime. That's, that that right there is a cut to these other nations as well, man. Because it said uh -huh. you bring them again. So that means you didn't have to been there before. Right, right. That's our land, which Yahweh Shai is going to return us back to our land again, all right, with the, according to the promise that the Most High, his father, made with our forefathers, right. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Right. All right, and that's to Israel, no other nations. Go ahead. Uh, that's what it says, Abraham, Isaac, and Come. Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they shall be lords over it. And I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. Yep, and that's that's what we were hastening that day for this place to fall, so the Most High can establish the righteous kingdom mm -hmm. with us in our proper place, man, and in, in, in our full glory, man. Come. All right, read that again. Come. This is uh, Baruch 2, verse 34. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers. The land of Israel. Go ahead. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they shall be lords over it, and I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. Yeah, man. He says, I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished, man. Our kingdom is going to be everlasting, man, and right. we're going to be a whole nation again, man. All right? We're going to increase uh, not only in child, but everything, man. All right? In true wealth. We're going to have it all, man. Now, we don't have to go through the list. The Most High is going to give everything to us in its full entirety, man. Go right. ahead. Well, yeah, because it says, shall be lords of it. Mm -hmm. We're going to be lords of everything that the Most High has promised That's our it. forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Okay. Okay, verse 35. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power, and they shall be my people. And I will now no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them. Mm -hmm. That was it. Read that last line. Come. Bible question. And I will not, no more drive my people of Israel. She's always claiming. Who is this my people he's always talking about, man? All right? He's not talking about everybody who accepts Jesus Christ into uh -huh. their hearts. No, man. He's talking about the Na Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, which are the true children of Israel, man. Right. Out of, out of the land that I have given them. Out of the land that I have given them, man. Right. All right. So we uh, grab it, Isaiah 11 and 11. Come. There's Isaiah 11, verse 11. Just real quick, I want to make the point so on that line because it said, I will no more drive my people, uh, my people of Israel. It's, it's, it's plain. Mm -hmm. It's letting you know out of the land that I have given them, man. So right. we won't be driven out of our land anymore. We're going to inhabit, we're going to uh, uh, take, the, like the scriptures say, the saints shall take the kingdom. We're going to be in our land, and the Most High is never going to drive us out of Israel again, man. All right, that's going to be our home front, man. Right. All right. What you got to bring? Come on. Just showing you that the, man, the, that the Most High is a man of his word, too. Man. All right. So this is 11, uh, Isaiah, so like Isaiah 11, verse 11. And it shall come to pass in that day that Yahweh shall set his name again the second time to recover 
the remnant of his people. Recover the remnant of his people, man. This is going into the most high delivering the elect when you how he sends his son Yahweh Shai, man. Which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Patros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamat and from the islands of the sea. And and he shall set up an ensign from the nations and shall assemble the nations. Oh, so like it come. For the nations and shall assemble the outcast outcast come the word. Outcast, outcast of Israel and gather together the dispersed yep. of Judah. Right, go on because when we deal with the, the Gentile subject with the word the uh uh was the Latin word always comes up, diaspora, man, the dispersed, man. All right, the dispersed of Israel that was scattered across the four corners of the earth, man. Come. All right, verse 11 went through a whole list of different lands right. that we were scattered into, man. Right. Now, that was at that point in time uh, during uh, Isaiah. Right. Now, imagine now to this day, how much more is Israel scattered throughout the earth, man? <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Come uh, And gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. That's it, man. The disperse of Judah, man. Huh. All right, but it's talking. It's going into the whole all twelve tribes that have been scattered, man. Right. So not just uh, the tribe of Judah, man. Right. All twelve tribes have been scattered throughout the earth, man. Okay. So the Most High is going to deliver them through His Son Yahweh Shai from the four corners of the earth very soon, man. All right. Quick precept. Come. This is James one verse one, and James, a servant of Yahweh and of the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. To the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greetings. You see, just showing you that all twelve tribes, not just one tribe, was scattered. All twelve tribes were scattered throughout the four corners of the world, man. Okay, okay. And that's what this this those those uh elect of those tribes of those twelve tribes are coming back to that remembrance, man, of who they are, and how to please you, Yahweh Shem man. That's it. You had anything else? Bro? That was it. Hey, with that, man, uh, Lord Willing's lesson was edifying. Well, once again, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rechakwadash. We want to give double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings unto the elect, starting with the 144. Shalom. Shalom.